dun 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 all right guys welcome back to the channel uh last in the last video we ended up getting the car painted so i wasn't very happy with the way the paint came out a i didn't like the color and i didn't like the quality so if you follow me on social media you guys probably already know that i did change the color and here it is went with uh, a battleship gray in a single stage um it's a much more neutral color i didn't like the blue because it reminded me of a another um, car that i previously had one of my first cars um, maybe i'll talk about that later but so anyways another reason why i went with battleship gray is because it's a more neutral color and the blue kind of shoe hold me into a certain color combination and i didn't really like that the gray really looks good with the gold the silver the black and even the teal um, accents and stuff like that so battleship gray is just a little bit better of a color it's nice and bright um, adds a lot of contrast and i really like it um, my original thought was to go with this battleship gray single stage um, and i don't regret this choice whatsoever i i like this color a lot and i think once once the car starts to come together it'll look a lot better also have you noticed um the car is way more assembled and i didn't film any of it sorry guys um got the wiring harness in i got a lot of the catch cans and overflow tanks in and stuff like that um mounted the ecu did some heat tape on the back side of the firewall just to help alleviate some of that heat coming off the engine I'm trying to make the car a little bit more livable when you're out on the track and not dying in the heat. So, um, also, I don't know if I showed it in the last video because I haven't gotten around to editing it yet, but um, also put some heat shielding on the transmission tunnel. I need to get some more heat tape and finish taping that up. Um, and then I have a second shield farther down to shield some of the transmission heat. Um, and I think it's looking pretty good. Um, I built some heat shields for coolant lines and then the fuel line over there. So that way, um, with the one line coming off the fuel tank, it's more crucial to keep the fuel cold, colder than if you have a recirculating system because it goes back to the tank and therefore uh, cools off. So with this, um, I'll probably heat sleeve that again. I had it previously sleeved but I just wanted to add some extra protection right in that area right there because that's where the exhaust kind of goes down and an extra layer of heat protection won't hurt. So enough talking. So let's, uh, let's dive into today's project. So I need to start installing some of the brake cables. I went and had some made uh, to replace the other ones. There's no real reason why. It's just uh, I think the crimped ones versus the reusable fittings uh, are slightly better in reliability. So I wanted to switch over to that. And also uh, aesthetically, the black looks a little bit better against the gray. So there's kind of an aesthetic reason. I they didn't have all the lines, so we can only install a couple for now. They should have the rest of them done by the end of the week. They ran out of material. So we'll have to finish that up on a, probably a different episode. All right, so the next thing that I need to install is the rear brake bias valve. So this is how I adjust Braking pressure to the rear, uh, it's really good for like left foot braking. So. Thank you. 
All right, so the next thing I need to knock out is the transmission tunnel. I need to put some more tape on it because uh, there's a couple spots where it's stressing it enough that it's kind of like peeling off. We'll get that knocked out real quick. You got something on your hand? Yeah, look. Let me see. Look. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. Putting some nuts and washers on. A washers? Yeah, no. washers. Oh, washers. All right, so I finished up the trans tunnel. So let me show you what that looks like. So I got it all taped and basically ready to go. So we can put the engine and transmission in. Uh, pretty happy, came out pretty good, I think, overall. Let's we'll see how it holds up over time. But uh, yeah, that should alleviate a lot of heat coming off the transmission or exhaust, so. Fingers crossed it works well. All right, so the other thing I need to do is get the suspension and the rack and pinion in, get that all squared away. So that way I can, we can drop this thing on the ground and then put the engine in there because I don't want the engine way up on the cherry picker. Uh, I like to keep it nice and low, get it in there, which should be good. All right, so let's knock that out real quick. You can't use it? No, you can't use it. Pick that up, put it in, we'll be done. All right, all right, so I got a little, I got a little ahead of myself. I uh, decided I was gonna start putting the engine in. Uh, didn't get the car off the jack stands like I was planning on doing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold off of putting the engine in, get the car off the jack stands, get it down so we can roll it out and create a little bit more room in here so we can be able to turn the cherry picker and do all that. And uh, Sterling's here to help. So it's awesome. He's gonna help me get the engine in so you can minimize how bad we tear that uh, tunnel up. So let's get this on the ground and get working. The engine in it's looking pretty good got uh the wiring harness hooked up intake manifolds on uh there's no cooling in the radiator obviously but this thing should be ready to fire so let's go ahead and get this thing fired up real quick So no surprise there, fired right up. Honestly, I'm pretty stoked. It's a huge milestone. So we have a bunch of things, little things to get this thing done. The major stuff has already been kind of achieved. So it's gonna be all the little stuff from now on. The lower radiator hose, I need a new one because we, when we built this front end, we kind of lowered the radiator a little bit. 
The other thing, uh, we got to hook up a lot of lines, coolant lines, brake lines, windshield, get the interior back together, start getting the brakes bled, and then we can start working on the visual stuff on the outside. We're going to be wrapping it. So if you guys have any suggestions on what color to wrap it, I'm going to probably go with something other than black this year. I want something that's going to um, kind of stand out. So uh, let me know in the comments what color I think we should go. And that's another reason that we went with the gray is to be able to do other colors on the outside. All right, guys. Well, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please like or subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.